global citizens who create global change. That's what world learning has been doing for 75 years. Since 1932, world learning has helped more than 100,000 people discover the first step to changing the world is understanding the people who live in it. Many of the different kinds of activities that world learning is involved in really come together to try and take advantage of the potential of young people, uh, open their minds to the rest of the world, create at least some understanding and hopefully some dialogue. practice what we teach and we teach what we practice. So our graduate program is continuously becoming stronger as we're learning from our experiences out in the field. Likewise, the work we do out in the field is, incre is increasingly becoming stronger, always becoming stronger, based upon what we're learning in the classroom. Um, it's that remarkable kind of doing in cycle um, that not many places are able to do anymore that I think makes us unique. The lessons of world learning are not new. For 75 years, these teachings have molded minds and shaped lives. It started in 1932 when Donald Watt took a group of students to Germany. Years later, it was Sergeant Shriver's experience here that led him to form the Peace Corps, whose earliest volunteers were trained right here on the World Learning Campus in Vermont. Today, graduate students from all over the world continue their educations here. And just as overseas, the concept and context make for a unique experience. The incredible background of the students, as well as the faculty, helps forge a rich environment. Here, uh, we bring a student who has a great deal of experience doing incredible things. I mean, working with poor slums in, in Africa or uh, helping develop new educational programs in Asia or um, working in their own similar background to mine, working in a, in a U.S. community uh, development situation. And what we're able to do is give them an opportunity to stop, reflect, and add uh, more conceptual understanding uh, to what they already know, sort of put things in perspective. Throughout the organization, the work that's being done on the ground is born out of a shared worldview and a shared goal. Being a global citizen. To be a global citizen. The idea being. of global citizenship. I think it's an awareness that not everybody lives in the same way and that that's okay. Um, and that the way that we, the choices that we make about our lives affect other people in other parts of the world. Global citizenship is, global I think, citizenship is really important right now. I think respect is one of the key words in global citizenship. The idea of global citizenship. Global citizenship is, global citizenship. I think, it's, I think it means being aware. Don't ask if something will be good for you, ask if it'll be good for society or the planet as a whole. Global citizenship to me means the idea of global citizenship. To realize that you are an American or you are an Argentine, but also that at the end of the day, you know, we're all just people. 